hi welcome to my channel and today i have another theatre vlog for you so this evening Lawrence and I are heading to the Palace Theatre in Manchester to go and see Aladdin the musical um we have seen this musical once before when we went to Broadway for our honeymoon so we have seen it once before but we're looking forward to seeing the tour version of the show um we're going to a Wednesday evening show it starts at half seven and obviously I'll show you any merch that they've got show you the view from our seats we're actually not sat together for this show Lawrence and I we're actually sat um across from one another because it was cheaper to get single seat tickets than to buy seats together so we've actually only paid 20 pounds for our seats and I'm on the front row and Lawrence is on the third row um so yeah, I'll show you the seats when we get there and I'll show you the view and everything, but yeah, we're not sat together. We only paid £20 for our seats and I think we should have really good views as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little flirt of vlog and review video. So we just arrived at the tram stop and luckily the tram is just arrived, so that was good timing. So we should get to the, I think we should get to the theatre for about half six. So we'll have an hour to look round. So, so. Now half six, we've just got off the tram at St Peter's Square. We're now walking up towards the palace and I'll show you once we get there. There's there is a big marquee out so We're just gonna get our badge checked and get our tickets and head in and then I'll show you the merch and stuff because we've got a lot of merch for the show so let's go in. Program. We've had our picture with the lamp. Oh. <laughs> and now we're going to head down to the stalls because we're sat in the stalls today. So we're going to head down. It's not open yet, but we'll just get out of the chaos of the foyer. Have a look down there. I think there's more merchandise down here. I'm sure she said there's merchandise in the circle and the stalls. So we'll see what's down here. Hopefully it's not as busy. So yeah, there is another merch stand down here and it sells the exact same merch as upstairs. This is a nice t-shirt, like this one. And there's also this London tote bag as well. Also down here they have this poster which shows you all the merch that is available. So it shows you everything that you can buy. 
We also have these paintings of the concept art. This is for the Ilga costume. And then this one is for the Genie costume. Okay, so we're about to head in now. So I'm on row BB, Lawrence is on row A. Okay, so yeah, I'm on row BB, seat 15. Lawrence is on row A, seat 16. So... This is Lawrence's seat. There. That's your seat. And this, this is my seat. So I can wave at you. So yeah, this is my seat here, row BB seat 15, and Lawrence is literally just sat there. So, so this is the view from Lawrence's seat, row A, seat 16. Uh, and then this is my view. Obviously, I've not got anyone sat in front of me, so I do have a clear view. There we go. That's my view of the stage. So yeah, I can't wait for it to start now. It's still got about a quarter of an hour before it starts, but really excited last time Lawrence and I saw this was in 2016 on Broadway so long time since we've seen it so we're looking forward to seeing it again let's wave at Lawrence <laughs> so if you are coming with children they do have booster seats which are just by the toilets on either side of the auditorium there's plenty there so I don't think I actually showed you a view from my seat so I'm sitting it. I'm showing you the view from my seat Okay, so I'm in my seat now. Like I said, I'm on row BB, which is front row, seat 15, which is the aisle seat, and I'll just show you my view from my seat now. There we go. This is the view from my seat without zooming out, and then if I zoom out on the wide angle, this is the view. So yeah, really good view. We only paid £20 for our seats because we got single seat tickets, so yeah, good bargain, I think. So it's now the interval, watching Lawrence. How are we doing now? Yeah, it's good. It's probably my least favourite of the Disney musicals though. Well, it, well, it was. How many is there? Aladdin, Frozen. Uh, what else have we seen? The Lion King. Yeah. Well, Lawrence is the least favourite. Yeah, 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 Lawrence is the least favourite. I think there's some bits I've seen and some bits I've not. I love. Yeah. Lightning. Yeah. Lightning. 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 Lightning.
Okay, so the show is finished now. It was really good. Really enjoyed it. I think, do you prefer the first act or the second act? Oh, well, I'll try four more. Yeah. Yeah, but we're going to go and get the tram home now and I'll tell you more about it when we get home. Hi, so it's now the next day, so I thought I'd come and tell you a little bit about Aladdin, the musical which we went to see at the Manchester Palace Theatre. Uh, we went to see the show on Wednesday the 29th of May and we went to an evening show which started at half seven. So for this show we had tickets in the stalls, however Lawrence and I weren't sat together for this show, she probably saw it in the vlog. The main reason for this was because it's much cheaper to get single seat tickets and um, we were practicing it and we were going to cross the street. So we thought rather than having to sit up in the ground, we'd rather um, just sit and make sure that I'm getting to sit back. because they were single seat tickets and they reduced all the single seats to £20. They don't seem to keep them at that price. They seem to be that price for a short time and then they'll put them back up again. I'm not sure why. Um, so I don't know if you look now if they'll still be £20 or if they will have gone up. Um, it's worth having a look and seeing um, because I think those tickets, we those seats we were sat in should have been between £60, £70 pounds, depending on what day you went to see the show so it's a good reduction on the price and like I said if we wanted to pay £20 um, for full price tickets we would have been sat in the grand tier so we had such a good view and for such a cheap price so that is why we went we didn't sit next to each other and it didn't really make much difference like I said we're only across from each other so we're still talking to each other before it started anyway and we're both on the end of a row so it actually worked out really well and I'm really glad we got those tickets because um, the view was really good from those seats. So I was sat on row BB, which is sort of the front row. There is a row AA, but it's only in the middle section where that row starts. There's no AA on the side. So BB is sort of the front row. So there's no one sat in front of you. So you have loads of leg room on that row. And I thought the view was really good. It is a slightly side on view. But you literally did, I didn't miss anything. There was nothing that I missed in that seat. I saw everything. Um, so it was a really, really good view from there. Um, Lawrence, like I said, he was sat on, he was sat on row A, which is the row behind where I was sat. But he was sat in the middle section on the end, um, on the aisle. And again, his view was excellent from there. He could see everything. Um, so both those seats, I'd say, really good views definitely sit there again like i said usually i think those seats are around 70 60 70 pounds maybe more um so yeah definitely get them if you can get them at the uh single seat price of 20 pounds because the view was excellent so aladdin we had actually seen aladdin before i think i might have mentioned it at the start of the video last time lawrence and i saw aladdin was when it was on broadway in 2016 when we went for our honeymoon and um i have to admit it wasn't my, it's not my favorite disney musical um i think because it, it does seem a little bit pantomime -y. i think because you always go to aladdin pantomimes it does seem a little bit more pantomime -y than the others um so it is my least favourite out of the big Disney musicals like Beauty and the Beast, um, The Lion King and this. This is my least favourite out of those ones. But it's still a good musical. It's still really fun. Um, and we did really, really enjoy it. It's just out of those ones and Frozen as well. 
this is probably my least favourite out of those out of four. So with this being a Disney musical, there is lots of merch. There's lots of merch and it is very expensive merch as well. Um, I did pick up a magnet because I do collect magnets from shows. I don't know if that's going to focus. So it's just a genie lamp with the little Aladdin logo at the bottom. That was £12. There was another uh, magnet that you could get which sort of had the silhouette of Aladdin and Jasmine on the carpet on it. That was £12 as well. They had two different key rings. I think one was, uh, again, the, the genie lamp and the other one was the logo, Disney's Aladdin logo. Uh, and those key rings were £12 each. Um, There's also a pin badge. Uh, that was £12. Um, they had t-shirts, which I think were £30. There was two different type of spirit jerseys, which I think were £55 each. There was a really, really nice one, which if I had the money, I probably would have got. It was like a navy blue, but it had all glitter in it. And um, it had an Aladdin logo on the front here. And on the back, it said Wish. And it was really nice, just the glitter in it. It looked really nice. And that was £55, I think. It was a zip up hoodie, which is, I think it was blue. I think it was a blue zipper hoodie. You probably will have seen it in the in the vlog. I don't know how much that was. There was no price on that one. And there's no, I couldn't see a price list. This tends to happen at most of these musicals. They don't tend to have price lists. Um, they have a few um, where they'll have like price tickets on next to the item, but not everything did. Um, so I don't know the price of everything. So I don't know how much the zip up hoodie was. There's also a tote bag. I'm not sure how much that was. They did have a bear, which was dressed up as a genie. That was 35 pounds. And there's also a Jasmine doll. I'm not sure how much the Jasmine doll was. I'm gonna guess probably about the same price as the bear. So probably about 35 pounds. Uh, they also had a mug, which was 20 pounds, which I think is so expensive for a mug. I don't know if it was colour changing or anything. I didn't, I didn't see. I think it just looked like a normal mug, but that was £20. Uh, they did also have like a blue cup with a straw in and that was, and that was £20. Then they had sort of diamontified water bottle. Then if you've seen Frozen and they had like this diamonted water bottle, they've got one for Aladdin now as well. And I think that was £50. They also had a collectible, um, a replica of a genie's lamp that was 65 pounds they then had a special edition funko pop of the genie that was 25 pounds um they also had a fro i don't know how much that was they had a notebook and pen which looked really nice i can't remember how much that was i've got a feeling it was like 30 pounds i could be wrong um but i quite liked it um but i think it was something like 30 pounds um, they also had a tiara and they also had a necklace which had like a, the genie lamp on it. The necklace was really nice but again I couldn't see a price on that so I'm not sure how much that was. And I think that was all the merch. Like I said there was a lot of merch. So if you like merch and you've got a lot of money there's lots of things that you can buy. So if you are going to the show with children they do have a booster seats and the these are kept um, just beside the toilets on either side um that's where they seem to keep them and they're just sort of piled up there and you can just go and pick them you are only allowed booster seats in the stalls you're not allowed them on um the tiered levels only in the stalls so yeah if you want them they are um by the toilets um on either side in the stalls so i'm sure everyone knows the story of aladdin um Obviously, this is based on the Disney movie of Aladdin. However, the story is a little bit different. There's no Abu in this. Instead, he's got three friends who are called Omar, Babcat, and Kasim. And other than that, it's more or less the same um, as the animation movie. Um, the plot follows the same. And yeah, it, it's good. Like I said, it is a good it is a good musical i did really enjoy it like i said it does come off sometimes a little bit pantomime -y. um but the songs are good i think there's a few new songs in there that aren't in the animation um and the set was good as well i actually quite enjoyed the set there were some scenes where it did seem a little empty it was just like um a backdrop and then the stage was quite 
bare but then in other scenes it was really detailed like the cave of wonder scene that was really good i really enjoyed that it had all the treasure and obviously the big lion head i thought that was really good um the props and uh, the set in that costumes were fantastic and being sat really close you could see them in really good detail and they were all really detailed there was a lot of beading in some of jasmine's costumes and um some of the other um women's costumes and they're all really bright and colorful this musical is such a bright and colorful musical it does just put a smile on your face it's just and the, the costumes were just beautiful so i really enjoyed the costumes um i thought they were fantastic cast wise i have to say the genie was fantastic he had so much energy um he really did like bringing the show to life he dearly really brought the energy and the fun to the show um he was definitely a big part of the show um i thought aladdin and jasmine were also really good i thought they both had really good chemistry together um and desmonda who plays jasmine her voice is fantastic she sounded great on all the songs um i'd probably say my favorite scene is probably what most people would say is a uh, friend like me that is a fantastic number really good really high energy and it's just so much fun so that is definitely the highlight of the show i think is friend like me i also really enjoyed a whole new world where they were flying on the carpet thought that was really good however because we sat so close you can see how it's done um so if you don't want to know, see how it's done maybe sit further back but if you sat close you can definitely see how that is done um but that was a really nice scene as well and yeah just a really fun uh really enjoyable musical and we had a great time and i would probably go again like i said it's not my favorite of the disney musicals um but it's still it's still really good it's still great fun um like i said full of energy and it's just like i said fun it's just fun and yes yeah, so i'll probably just go through the program with you actually so yeah programs are also available i think these were five pound fifty they did have souvenir brochures i'm not sure how much they were i'm gonna say between I don't know it's a Disney show so they're probably more expensive than normal shows but they're usually around 10 to 12 pounds but with it being Disney it might be more expensive um but I'll just show you the program and go through the cast okay so this is the program so on the inside you've got a welcome to the palace theatre it just tells you some shows that are coming to the palace and opera house then you have some information on the Palace Theatre itself. Then you have some adverts telling you about some upcoming shows. So I do have tickets to see Burlesque. I'm hoping to get tickets for Anne Juliet and 101 Dalmatians. I don't think I'm going to bother with Hairspray this year because the tickets are quite expensive. And I've seen it a thousand times so I don't think I'm going to bother with Hairspray this year. Uh, we then have an advert for ice cream. I assume this is the ice cream that they sell at the theatre. And then we have information about the show. So we have Welcome to Agrabah. We then have the cast list. So Aladdin is Gavin Adams. Jeannie is Ikaye Ushi. Ushi. Jasmine is Desmonda. Kafbel, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name, any names wrong. Um, Jafar is Adam Strong. Iago is Angelo Paragoso. Sultan is Joe Servi. Kasim is Nene. Uh, Babcat is Nelson Betancourt. Omar is Adam Taylor. Attendant is Harriet Miller. Another attendant is Avi Platz. Fortune teller slash attendant is Dami Arga Basola. Razul is Kerry Spark. And Prince Abdullah is Aaron Elijah Patel. And you have your standbys, your ensemble swings and understudies we then have the creative team orchestra 
You then have scenes and musical numbers. So act one, you've got Arabian Nights, One Jump Ahead, Proud of Your Boy, These Palace Walls, Babka Omer Aladdin Kasim, A Million Miles Away, Diamond in the Rough, Friend Like Me, and Act One Final. We then have in Act Two, Prince Ali, A Whole New World, High Adventure, Somebody's Got Your Back. Proud of your boy, princely, princely reprise, and final ultimo. Okay. It then says here the performance lasts approximately two hours and thirty minutes, including a twenty-minute interval. I then have an advert for the Lion King in London, an advert for Inside Out Two, which is at cinemas from June fourteenth. And then we have the cast biographies. So I'm not going to go through everyone's, I'm just going to go through the main cast. So we have Gavin, Gavin Adams playing Aladdin. And it says that Disney's Aladdin is Gavin's professional debut, having graduated from the Royal Academy of Music in 2023. We then have Yukai Ushi, who played the genie. Uh, like I said, he was absolutely fantastic, full of energy. He really kept the energy up throughout the show. I just thought he was fantastic as the genie. Um, his theatre credits include A Strange Loop at the Barbican Centre, Disney's The Lion King at the Lyceum Theatre, Kinky Beats UK Tour, A Crucible and A Little Night Music at the Storyhouse Chester, uh, Motown the Musical, and lots of other things. He's done a lot of stuff. We then have Desmonda Kaffa Bell. Um, so most people probably know Desmonda from being in the um, TV show Mamma Mia, I Have a Dream. Uh, so she was in that. Um, but her theatre credits include Miss Saigon at the Sheffield Crucible Theatre, um, From Here to Eternity at the Charing Cross Theatre, and then she's done some concerts as well. And she has a fantastic voice, and I thought she was a really good Jasmine. Um, I really enjoyed her performance. We then had Adam Strong as Jafar. And I thought he was good. As Jafar, he was funny. Um, it wasn't too scary, um, but he was very funny. I thought he did a good job. So his fit of credits include We Will Rock You on a UK and Ireland tour. Rock of Ages UK and Ireland tour. He's been in Joseph and the Main Technical Dreamcoat UK tour. Jesus Christ Superstar UK and Ireland and Australian tour and again he's done lots of other things as well. We then had Angelo Paraguso as Iago. Again he was really good, he was really funny, thought he did a really good job. His theatre credits include um, Paper Dolls, The Reporter at the National Theatre, Miss Saigon UK Tour, The King and I at the Royal Albert Hall, Pearls of the East at the Pinoy Theatre, and then again lots of other things as well. We then had Joe Savi as the Sultan. His theatre credits include Dream Girls UK Tour, uh, Street Scene UK Tour, Trade and Treason, Tower of London. Uh, the Colour Purple, the Birmingham Hippodrome, and Curve Leicester. And again, he's done lots and lots of other things. So, Babcat is usually played by Nelson Betancourt, but we had an understudy on. Um, we had someone called Oliver, so I'll find his uh, in a minute. So, we didn't have him playing Babcat. Um, but his theatre credits include Frenticle, a parody musical about Friends, UK tour, Les Miserables, uh, Roger Hammerstein's Cinderella, Disney's Beauty and the Beast, and a few other things as well. Then we had Adam Taylor who played Amar. His theatre credits include Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club, the Playhouse Theatre, Everybody's talking about Jamie at the Apollo Theatre and UK Tour, uh, Shrek UK Tour, um, it's been in Mamma Mia, and there's a few things he's done. Then we had Nene who played Kasim. His theatre credits include Hairspray, um, 
Once on this island at the Regent Park Open Air Theatre, Snow White, uh, New Cardiff Theatre, Beauty and the Beast, Civic Theatre, and those are some things he's done. So we then have the ensemble here. So there's quite a few ensemble members and swings. Um, I'm just trying to find who played Bad Cat. So for our performance we had Oliver Sears who was a swing and he played Babcat. His theatre credits include Rock of Ages in the Germany and Aust Austria tour, Disney's Aladdin, uh, We Will Rock You uh, and Footloose, uh, new on a new new Norwegian cruise line so those are just some things that he has done. So we then have an advert for Frozen the musical, which ends in September, so there's not long left to see that one. We then have the creative team biographies. We have an advert for um, Disney Cruise. Uh, then have, this which shows you some of the merch which is available. There's the souvenir brochure, I'm not, it doesn't say the prices though. We then have some information on ATG. Uh, some information on booking and venue information. Um, advert for Little Moons, which they sell at the theatre. And then um, just information on the ATG Plus card on the back. So that is the program so there's not really that much in here there's no articles there's no um production shots in it it is literally just um the cast biographies and um creative biographies in there there's nothing else really in there so it's not a great program but if you want to know the cast then that's what's in there so yeah, like I said, I did really enjoy this musical. I thought it was really good. And I would give it four stars. Definitely recommend it. Um, if you haven't seen it before, or even if you have, go and see it again. It's on at the Manchester Palace Theatre until the 9th of July, I think. So you've still got lots of time to go and see it. It's obviously on a UK tour, so it's going to be travelling to lots of theatres around the UK as well. So I'll link down below where you can get tickets for the Manchester run. I'll also link down below the official website, and that should tell you where it'll be touring to um, this year as well. Maybe I might go and see it in Liverpool. Who knows? Might do that, maybe. Um, but yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this little vlog and review video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.